Ik ga de wind op. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Abs, abs. Now as in now. Now as in as we speak right now. Okay, okay. We got the day three of practice here, crank works joyride. Um, so we're gonna get going. Just a couple of tricks. And have a good time with the boys. Did you corky now? Yeah. Straight from not doing the tail two times and then straight in for the corky. Because I was trying to do the corky every time. Oh, After the tail whip, I, see. I think that's why I was fucking up the tail whip. Focus on the whip, get a dialed whip, because then I do a whip. Maybe that's yeah. why you fucked up the whip, because you were a bit afraid of the corky. 100%, I was like trying to see if the landing and the speed was good. And before even catching the pedals, like I would be already focused on the cork. I would have tried everything, tried everything, bro. I have no idea what to do this ball. Oh, same, same, I'm... Help me. So I don't know about the hips. If, same. If I go left, I trip a whip. Yeah. If I go right, I'm just gonna flip whip. But, so I don't know what to do, like, it's so hard. Dude, I, it's the same in my mind. I have a lot of options, but don't know... So usually when we go to contests, we have like one... Like, we know like exactly what we can do yeah. everywhere, but now you actually have too many options. But this year, it's the first time I have this feeling. Like, I'm pretty lost on the course. Like don't know what to do and scared of everything. <laughs> Are you going to the monster dinner tonight? You go? I think so. Yeah, just tell me everything. Yeah, yeah. Right, after some uh, midday uh, rest, uh, we went up for another practice, but it turned out that it was super, super, super windy. So no one was really able to ride. We tried to ride the quarter pipe a little bit, but we had the sun in the ice and it was windy. So yeah, it was pretty much like a, just a, just a, just, I don't even know. It, it wasn't a real practice, but we were here anyways. It's sick to just be here in Worcester. It's nice to just be out in the sun. Yeah, out on bikes with the best riders in the world. Tomorrow's day four of practice is Friday. Uh, almost uh, go time soon. So uh, tomorrow is gonna be a big day. I have a lot of things to knock off. So we're gonna cut to something else. First spin? First spin on the set down, yeah. We I mean, just look at that. It's freaking terrifying. Mass. Probably one of the scarier set downs I've spun. I mean, I've spun all, all the set downs at all courses since I started. But some, for some reason, this one just scared me because of the kicker is a bit like kicky. Mm. And it feels like you got like a coping in the end. But it was actually better to spin than go straight. So that just goes to show that I'm a bit of a I feel really good on the bike today, I'm stoked, I'm happy, and uh, yeah, if I'm happy and stoked, then good riding usually comes out for me. So uh, I'm gonna leave all the freaking stress and contest thoughts behind me today and just enjoy this beautiful course. Have a good time with the boys. What day is it? You can send it. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, it's, it's the next day in the <laughs> video, so this is Friday, one day before the contest. So today is a heavy day, I already started quite a lot and I just went straight into it after one or two warm-up laps. Disgusting. So 
sweaty, like it's literally 30 degrees. And when you ride, sweat is dropping down my uh, face. And sweat drops down my ball. Sweat drops down my ball. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. All right, we finish up uh, today's morning practice. It's Friday, so this is our last like legit practice, uh, like the day before the contest. So. Today's practice was really, really important for me and I'm super stoked actually. I got a lot of things out of the way. I linked up my stuff and I actually know how my full run is gonna play out now. Uh, didn't do my actual tricks, but I kind of did all the setup tricks and everything. So it's gonna be easy to just add the things. I did some of the maneuvers already now in practice. Uh, but yeah, it feels great. Like I linked everything together, no worries. But yeah, super happy actually. This was exactly what I needed. Now I can, like, this can just marinate a bit uh, over the day. And then hopefully we can come up in the evening, do another practice session and just knock off some more stuff. It seems like it's gonna rain in the morning tomorrow. So that's definitely a bit of a stressful situation that it's gonna rain during our morning practice tomorrow. So we'll see how much practice we're gonna get at all before tomorrow's contest. Yo, I'll be walking around in Whistler Village and I'm gonna give away this box that includes a brand new TSG full size helmet. Show me proof when you come up to me that you follow TSG on Instagram, me on Instagram and that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you do all that and you'll be the quickest guy, you'll win this brand new helmet. Easy as that. I just posted the clip of me gonna give away this uh, helmet right here. So we'll see how quick it is. Someone's gonna find me, but we'll see if it takes 5, 10, 30, or if anyone even finds me, because I'm gonna be running around, so it's gonna be hard to find me. You look a lot thinner in life than you do in. Just because this guy makes me look fat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he's damn good looking. There we go. Cool. Hey, again, thank yeah. you so much. It's no been worries. a pleasure, really. Yeah, Great. I'll, I'll probably see you around. I know you too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to your place. Oh, really? uh, well, on his channel. <laughs> Super nice guy. Yeah, nice. Very friendly. He's been a subscriber since I had 6,000 followers. So, no, that was, that was, that was cool. Sick, Worthy it, winner. Like I remember all of his comments. Like he's really funny in the comments. So I it was happy that he came to like a real legit and uh, proper subscriber. I'm stoked about that. So that turned out great. The forecast for today is much different than what um, And I don't want to put the pressure on you guys um, to have to worry about this sort of stuff. We, we learned that uh, the hard way in Rotorua. Guys? Uh, no, I was like, I was done. I was done. <laughs> Worst decision making of my fucking life. You'll <laughs> be good. I might have to go puke more. Do it. You're built different. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this lifestyle plays out. Here we go. Dennis Rodman, he went partying during the NBA finals and come back and he win. He said it would be, you and Lily said it would be weirder if you didn't go out than if you did what you did. Because Ewan knows me, he knows my vibe, he knows my energy. So he just said those few little things and it got me fired up. Oh, let's go. Look at my phone, bad uh, shit. Look out of the window. Oh. <laughs> Horrible. We just finished up a bit of a athlete meeting. We're supposed to have a meeting up at the course at 9.30 to 10 and then 10 to 12.15 should have been practice. But it's very windy this morning. And it looks like it's gonna rain, so they've postponed <coughs> our practice. The contest is supposed to be at 4.30, so uh, yeah, we're supposed to have practice from 2.15 to, to 4.15 and then contest goes 50 minutes after that. So uh, yeah, we're still sticking to the same schedule for the actual contest, but uh, We'll see what happens. We'll see. Like today is going to be a waiting game. Unfortunately, like the whole week has been just sunny and nice, and then we've ridden in the mornings, been windy in the afternoons, and unluckily the contest is scheduled to be in the afternoons. And uh, yeah, judging by the weather today, anything can happen. I'm just going to keep my chin up. We're going to be up there at 2:15. See if we can ride. If not, I don't know. It's just a big waiting game by by now. So yeah. So, so typical slope stuff. Been good all week long. And then on the day of the actual contest, it starts being very, very windy and it looks like rain is gonna go come down and it's just gusty and stormy. We're just walking around the village trying to stay occupied because if I'm in my room alone waiting for wind on the day of Joyride, I'm just gonna go insane. So we're just trying to go around. I'm eating watermelon. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> 
you go. Thank you. No worries. Much. Thank you. Uh, we've been chilling around pretty much all day long now. It's currently two o'clock. Um, wind is starting to settle down a little bit. It's still very gusty here and there, but boys are just dropping in to do some test runs and see if we can uh, get a bit of a one or two hour practice window so we can uh, run the show as planned at 4.30. So, uh, no, yeah, nerves are starting to pick up. The atmosphere here in the village is just off the roof. Like, it's insane how how many people that show up already like yeah, our yeah, practice yeah. is gonna be like more spectators than it is on a normal like gold event <laughs> or whatever so uh, this day is gonna be uh, one for the books for sure so uh, no I'm gonna try to course the outfield getting closer it's like half an hour left until we start the contest yeah we had like a solid one hour window with like good gusts and stuff and then uh, kind of picked up a little bit again so we're just trying to adjust survive and I don't even know like it's it's definitely a bit of a scary situation right now but uh, yeah we're just gonna do our best if I feel like I, I'm gonna play with some sort of experience that I've gained over the last 11 years of contest this is not ideal. This is not a day where I want to be a hero. Uh, so it's yeah, hard. no, I'm. Uh, it's hard. This is definitely the hardest part about slope style that conditions are playing in a big part. Uh, but we're handling it. It'll nice. Be, it's all good in the end. In a few hours, I'll be down at the bar having beers for sure. <laughs> The Sweden slopes out generation. He's smooth like butter, but he's no criminal. Max Fredrickson! Just did a rider presentations. This is it, my man. Yeah, first time. It's time for us to absolutely shit ourselves and then drop in. This is literally the worst and best feeling in the world. Like you're literally feeling like your soul is just leaving your body yeah, when it's down. Really I feel it worse. I'm fine here. It's when I walk up those steps now. Like, like, you feel like you're shaking. Your your muscles stop working. But I don't know about you, but as soon as I actually drop in off the first feature, just boom, boom. tunnel of energy. Yeah, yeah. That's Straight. that's it's it's, we do. it's such a cliche to see. But as soon as you drop in, you're fine. Yeah. Just yeah. where you're comfortable. Well, depending on the wind, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Good luck, my friend. I wish you all the best today. Yeah, yeah. Take off as the landing. I have a feeling the judge is really going to like that. So Tom Eisted's score coming in. It's a 58.2 for Tom Eisted. So that's going to slide. Great time out here. This guy's tasted glory with a third place joyride right here on this very slope. Sure. Plenty of the same people who cheered him on in 2016 are out there again. Max Fredrickson, all the way from Sweden, on course. Let's see what Max got. Nolly 360 off the drop. Bar to bar, truck down the step down, coming into the four pack. Nice. Double bar backflip to no hander, keeping his momentum going. Truck to tail. Here we go. We got ourselves a run on the course. Big flip whip on the hip. That's so difficult on that hip. Coming into the sphere. Bar up. One, two, three tricks in the sphere. Making the most of his time in there. Three different tricks on one feature. The judges. All right, he's coming down to the cannon. Let's see what he's got. Into the cannon. Big tough no hand of three. Keeping that momentum into the quarter pipe. Tail whip air. 
All right, here we go. Coming back into the village. What's it going to be? Time for Max Fredrickson to put a cap on this run. Will it be an exclamation point? Truck driver down to finish things off. Huge run for Max Fredrickson. Solid, solid run. He had a nice little nollie to bar up. That was the first time we saw that on that final feature. So this course, you know, it's, it's delivering. It's giving these riders the opportunity to really show their bag of tricks. sitting in fifth place after everyone went off the first round so uh, yeah I'm sitting quite comfortable leading into the second second runs I need to clean up my run and actually do what I plan on doing and then hopefully we'll see if I if I, if I have the speed I'm gonna send something new I've been working on we'll see if that happens or not but I'm just happy that I lay down around here Crank with Shora it's just a, such an iconic place if you even make it down to the bottom it's amazing. I just witnessed Emil lay down the most ridiculous run I've ever seen in my whole life. This is sick. Every time doing a contest week, I'm like, oh shit, this is, I don't know how much I can do this for anymore. Like, I've done it for 11 years now, blah, blah, blah. But then when you get down, it's the best feeling ever. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna let, let it go until I'm literally not invited anymore, I think. <laughs> It's just how it goes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, second rounds are coming up. I'm gonna uh, start fifth to last since I'm sitting in fifth place. So ten riders before me. Then I'm dropping in. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to stay warm and, and focus. So yeah. Max Friedrichsen is on course. Back in 2016, you got a third here. So not only 360, but then 360. Look back there with that stylish backflip bar spin on that first one. So keep it. Fredrickson on course. Perfect Nolly 360 on the drop. Bar to bar. Tr truck to, tw to invert. What's he got here? Big back to bar. Spin lands. Perfect. Nice smooth 360. Okay, so maybe he's just comfortable with that first run. Tyler, what do you think about Max right now? Do you think he's happy with run number one? I don't know. It's hard to say because it looked like he started off adding a combo on that first step down. So I thought he was going to sneak. Dude, he, he can just always sneak in more bar spins. It's crazy. So I think he was going to try to up it. And then he had a mistake on that first jump in the four pack there. So sixth place ain't a bad day at Joy Ride. He might just be content with that. You see a stain on the run. Save yourself for the next one. 
long season. We're just getting started. We got to talk about that as well. So I just went up the lift and like, wait, I gotta do a double bar and I know I'm here. But it didn't happen, I just shit myself in, my, in the head and I don't know, I'm still happy. I'm, I'm sixth, I'm sixth in Rebel Jora. Right? It's, it's not much more to say, it's, it's a great result. I'm happy, couldn't be more happy, but I could have landed my run. But anyways, <laughs> this morning when we woke up and we literally thought we weren't even able to do the contest. On eight in a row, and then we end up with this. Second, the first time you hopped on your bike in the unreal. parking lot, it was the first time you'd ridden since breaking here. your hand. Walk me through this the week. Community, this yeah, I've, uh, really as far from ideal as possible, I would say this. Awesome. Yeah, it brings we forward the process, not doing anything out there, participating until basically. Sport is the best. Yeah, that is the end. We'll cut it there before we actually go underground. Good day, thing. Subscribe and like.